Hello, board members. How we doing? This fine, fine. Uh, Saturday morning. Immersive, aka no face cam horror stream Saturday morning. Well, I hope. We're going to be returning to Kenshi, where we are trying to sort of, kind of, maybe build a maze that helped defend the front of our, our town and the chances that maybe someday we can actually repel a, uh, a cannibal assault. I don't know if it's going to work, but we're going to try. We're going to try. Yeah, last week we, or last stream, we ended up, what all did we do? We got the walls finished and we decided to add some more stuff in here because we got attacked and it didn't slow them down basically at all. So we've decided to add in some um, uh, further distraction in the form of all of these animal animal feeders. And we're using Gwyn here as our, uh, our, our, our guinea pig to try to figure out where the gaps are, basically. Uh, Gwyn? Uh, what's the problem here, Gwyn? Hold on. Okay, so something's... Okay. Something might be actively blocking this one. So go that way. Okay, so so far this seems correct. Okay, just run me over here. Run over here, Gwen, and show me what we got. So we come down this way, go through there, come out this way. Hopefully at some point during all this, we're actively shooting them with uh, the turrets. Run over here. Okay, okay. Okay, so we got a little gap. We got a little gap right here. That's okay. We've been working on figuring out how to fix these, and we figured out the barrels work pretty good. They're not necessarily the best thing ever, but they're not bad either. Wait, rice weeds in interior only? That's odd. Okay. I didn't think that was... That's an interior only. Huh. Okay. I didn't realize that. Been making a lot of progress in Sekiro? Yeah, I watched a little bit of it. You... What, did, what all did you do? You beat the ghost lady, which is fun. You beat the ghost lady. Confirm that. That's okay, Gwen. I don't need you to have building material. You beat the ghost lady. And then uh, you were wandering around like the like retirement village area with all that nonsense. And you were going up the side of the large building. Okay, that seems to be working now. So yeah, you, you made a lot of progress in the bit of it I watched. I was doing like video editing and stuff, but I was able to watch a lot of it. Okay, that goes back around. Come down this way. That, that's fine. Okay. Retirement village. I, it's just full of a bunch of old people, isn't it? Wait. Why did that look funny? Oh no no, that's that's probably okay. That's fine. Come over here. working running this way and then that way Run this way all the way over here it's all be working now there's a little gap there okay see this is the things I'm talking about a little gap just a little smidge of a gap uh, st 
stone. Nope. Oh, yeah, like that. That should be fine, right? Yeah, look, now he's got to run all the way around. That's good. All the way down there. All the way down there. Disruption. In a way, yeah. Yeah, it's just a retirement village. It's just full of old people. And they're extra cranky old people on top of that. All they're trying to do is attack you for no reason. You're just walking by. There's parts of uh, Firebird City like that. Um where, like, you have to be a certain age to even live there. And if you go to visit someone who lives in that area, you're only allowed to stay a certain number of days um, before you have to leave. It's real weird. It's just so that they keep only, like, retirement age people there and they don't have too many young people living there. It's it's pretty bonkers. I'm I'm kind of surprised they can get away with it, but HOA laws in this in the United States are real weird. Wow, you can run all the way around that, huh? Okay, well. Let's see, maybe I can oh no, not an armor storage. Might be able to do. That's not going to work. So... Maybe what we can do is we can dismantle this one. Yeah, it, it, it honestly shocks me because I would have figured there's some kind of, like, law against that kind of thing. But apparently there's not. Or if there is, they don't care to enforce it or something. I mean, I know age discrimination is definitely a thing that you have to be aware of and not perpetrate. Oh, wait. He's probably in the way, huh? He's probably in the way. Hold on. Really? Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is one of those weird areas, isn't it? I bet it is. Okay, confirm that. Firebird City sounds like a wild, wild place. Some parts of Firebird City are pretty wild. Um, I mean, over the problem with this town is, is it doesn't really have much in the way of... I, I don't know, like... There's no... I bet the best way I can describe it is there's no antique culture here. Like, there, we don't have a lot of historical places because we've only existed for, like, less than 100 years. So it's kind of weird. I don't know. If you don't like to, like, go to clubs, I don't feel like there's a ton of stuff to do at night. But maybe I'm just not aware, too, you know? Okay. Gwen? Okay, so something is blocking us from... Something is blocking us from getting out of here, which is bad, because that means it's probably going to uh, malfunction the AI and they'll start attacking the walls. We don't want that. That's really bad. Okay, so we go down this way. We go down this way. Okay. Okay, go this way. Wish it was daytime, just so I could see a little bit better, but... Okay. Okay, that works. Okay, okay. That worked. So far, we're looking okay. Might be able to do something more involved with this area. Like, if we... 
what's all this? This music going so hard all of a sudden. Just like, Calm yourself, music. You're fine. You don't need to. You don't need to be trying so hard, music. Probably like that. And then we'll just put like a leather barrel over here to. Oh, an interior. No, no, meat. Meat is an exterior barrel. Okay, confirm. Okay, right, maybe this might add a little bit more of a roundness to this. Do I finish this, girl? I'll do another Mega Man challenge run. Oh, okay. Apparently there's too much gap here. Okay, dismantle. What what's your gonna next your next challenge run gonna be, Van? Something like that would work? No, okay. I was about to say, that's really weird, but okay, no, no it doesn't. Alright. Dismantle this. We just dismantle this one. The problem is, is if if Soman gets too far ahead of us, ends up building all this stuff, I don't want to have to dismantle it, like actually dismantle it, you know? That should work. Okay. Like that. Something like that. Let's try that one. I'm gonna do it like the last Mega Man challenge run I did, which was the human run, where I beat all the bosses as a human in ZX Advent. You can't play as a human in Zero, but I'll just say I can't dash, wall climb, or chain charge shots. You can only use gun. Is that even gonna be possible with some of the bosses, though? Aren't a lot of those bosses only beatable? What? Apparently. Apparently there's no gap here? What? That's real weird. That is super weird that there's no, that doesn't constitute a gap? I guess? Okay, let me try like further back like that. Yeah, apparently this is not a large enough gap for him to go through. That is super odd. We've had smaller gaps than that count as a as a movable path. Okay, let me try a little bit more open like that. Yeah, apparently something like right here is blocking out his pathing. The main one will be the final phase, the final boss, which I'll consider the run finish there, or come up with something else. Oh, okay. Is that the final boss, which I'll consider run? Okay. I mean, if you think you can pull it off, but I trust you. So there's something weird about this area where it apparently, the this is really throwing off the, uh, the path thing, like a lot. Is something like that way? Okay, okay, that seemed to have worked. Okay, you can't even get over there, that's fine.
Okay, okay. Looking good, looking good. And then we go back that way. And back around this way. Okay. Um, okay. Ah, okay, so this area is what's blocked out. Okay. I get okay I can get over here okay so something over here is this too blocked okay so we'll just dismantle this one how does this look okay okay that seems fine Okay, now we just got to build this part, and we're good. I think this will be the last section that needs to be built, and then everything else should be how it needs to be, I think. Because I just put these in here to be disruptive. I hadn't put them in an actual maze configuration of any kind. They were just supposed to bounce into these and then basically slow them down and try to funnel them in a little bit slower, maybe? I have to remember also as Gin and Zill get more experience, they'll be able to shoot faster. Let's see, in ZX Advent, I had to do something similar anyway. The final boss had a shield that I couldn't break because I didn't have enough DPS as a human. Right, right, I gotcha. There's just, you know, physical limitations. That you're playing it in a way that's not intended, right? Okay, so... They come flooding in. And then I want them to curve outward first or inward first? Probably outward first. So we have them come around this way first. Something like this. And they kind of come back down and they kind of run around the other direction. So. Uh, get something in here like this. Come on, give me something. Give me something to work with here. Let's try that. Go back this way. Do something like that. And then they come around this corner, and then they don't get to go this way because we're inside of the wall. Come on. There we go. Good so far. And they can come around this direction. I'm gonna run into this table. Or I guess animal feeder, technically. We cannot get very close on this one. Might have to put a barrel in on this one. Just looking at how that looks already. That's got a that's probably gonna be a barrel to fill the fill the gap there. Okay, come down around this way, and through the wall. I also have a couple of other interesting ideas I think that might help, but actually that might be too narrow. It was there. There it is. Okay, so they come down to the room this way. I was thinking about another thing we might be able to do. Is because they keep running from building to building, right? Like we've seen that that AI pathing before. 
right? I'm wondering if there's a way we can exploit that to maybe thin them out a little bit so it's easier to pull like two or three of them at a time instead of having the whole clump together. If that makes sense. Probably? Okay. Because even if all I have... So, like, they get through all of this nonsense, right? And then I just have, like, a couple of shacks just, like, placed around, right? Because, I mean, most of our stuff is just going to... I mean, be honest, it's going to take place over here. This is a lot of empty void space. And, I mean, you could we could, we could could roleplay that eventually this will turn into a thriving city. But you could probably even put in an empty shed out front. And maybe some of them will go and into that there instead of attacking yeah exactly right like we we could do that we get a couple of these like empty sheds over here and they're gonna start running between these and then kind of thin themselves out going this direction and we might be the pull like because when they get over here they usually go from here to here and they just run back and forth and sometimes we're able to pull like three or four of them by themselves if we get the timing right but if we were able to put just a bunch of like blank shacks and then have them really thin themselves up as they're like running back and forth we might be able to pull like three of them beat them up pull another three beat them up something like that there's options is what i'm saying there's options uh, we'll go back this way man i'm gonna have the best bad tutorial on how to defend your base ever with this video series and that was not the intention but it's what we're doing now kind of Probably put one in like that. Do that. You could also hire mercenaries. That's true. We could hire mercenaries. You're not wrong. But then I'm paying other people to defend my town. That's not how this works. And then we turn into that one town from Diablo 2. I think that's also in, in Diablo 4. Maybe. Maybe. I've been playing Diablo 4, and so it's on my brain right now, but... I remember in Diablo 2, there's a town that's hiring mercenaries to defend it because all the town guard are busy stopping the demon incursion happening in, like, the basement of the palace. So even the mercenaries are like, I don't know why they're hiring us. They have, like, a full town guard, but if they're going to pay us, we'll take the money. Okay, so then they can come down this way. I'm like halfway disruptive with this. Okay. Let's try that. Now can you leave? If this works, and he doesn't have we don't have any weird gaps, we'll be good. This will be the last section I think we need to go through. We'll have him run it one more time from the beginning to the end just to see. Ah, okay, there's a there's a gap there. Okay, there's a gap. See, that is much more narrow than that other spot that we couldn't get through. All I'm saying is I would like some consistency here, please. Skins? Okay, skins are exterior. Just a little consistency, please. Confirm that. Any other gaps? No. That looks like that's it. Okay. Alright. Run it back then and let's see what happens. Let's see what happens here, team. It's going around out there. Comes down this way. Beep? What? Beep, why are you out here? Um, Beep? What? Beep, what are you doing? Okay, this is working. Beep, I don't know. I don't know why he's here. I don't know what Beep's doing. Okay, and... Okay, it looks good. It looks good. All right. Okay, Gwen, run back over here for me. Beep wanders where he pleases. Well, I mean, that's why I'm not telling him to go back to whatever he was doing. I'm just, I'm act legitimately wondering what he's doing out here. 
At least, if nothing else, Gwyn should be getting some good athletics training from doing all this running. If nothing else. Like, Soman's supposed to be out here. She's the one fixing all this stuff. Okay, Gwyn, go ahead and run in, and we're just going to follow Gwyn now as they they run the gauntlet here. Let me just see. Let me just see what happens. Back and forth. This all looks good. Want to time it? No, we don't need to time it. I just want to make sure there's no gaps in it. Okay, down this way. Okay. That's blocked out. Good, good. Down, we run around this way. Okay, also good. I'm liking it, I'm liking it. Good so far, good so far. Uh, there's a little bit of a gap in that. Well, that's probably actually as best as we're going to be able to get it. Because if we start playing around the front of this thing, it's going to get weird. And I don't, I don't want to waste that much more time on this. Okay, okay. Good there. Going down this way. Back and forth. See, the other good thing about this is it's going to cause a lot of issues with the AI, like, teleporting through. So it's also going to break them up. Okay, right there's a little a little hiccup. There's a little hiccup. That's fine. We know how to fix the hiccups now. Okay. Confirm that. Hold on, hold on. Go back. Okay, still a hiccup. Still a hiccup. We need something different. Apparently. Oh, this is one of those weird spots, isn't it? Okay, maybe what we can, can do then. Dismantle this. We might be able to do... Let's do more of an angle out like this. And then we might have a, a little bit better luck with getting the barrel to fit. Okay. Okay, that's still a gap. And then we put the meat barrel. Like that. Confirm. Okay, now he has to run around it. That's what that's the goal. That's the goal. Okay. So we're going that way. Okay. So Gwen, keep running over there. Okay. That's the goal, is to make him run around this. And we'll just get the gaps filled. Bam. Beautiful. See the other did you just run around a, a... Oh, my God. Hold on. Hold on. Come back over here. Okay, so the barrel's not doing anything right here. So the other thing that that's weirdly good about this, I think, is if... Ika, you were correct about the way you described the um, combat slots. Only a certain number of people can engage a single target. This might also help with that. Because in theory, we're kind of channeling them in. Oh, this ground is real weird, apparently. Yeah, you can run around the outside still. Which is fine. I don't... See, yeah, we're gonna have to do something else here then. All this. 
sure. I sure am sure. Surely, surely, sure. Surely, 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 surely sure. Maybe if I do it this way, this will give us a little bit more space on this other side to put the barrel in. Oh wait, he's in the in the way, isn't he? Okay. But also hire someone to defend the final gate. Just cover them in super heavy armor and stuff. Which again would take advantage of the combat slots. That's true. We could do something like that. We might have someone who we could just cover in super high armor. Because, I mean, the good thing about the cannibals coming in is they don't wear armor. They just have big swords. And it's not even good big swords, right? They're just big, meaty swords. That's it. Uh... Wow, this thing just doesn't want to... It just doesn't want to be blocked off. Hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, that, exactly. We could do something like that. We could have, like, the gate defender. And I guess, technically, they don't even have to have a weapon, right? We'd probably want to check. They cover them in the best heavy armor you have. Okay. So, how much... How disruptive is heavy armor to martial arts? Is it super disruptive? Are they going to have to be the one person who gets to use a weapon? Is that what's going to end up happening? Because I don't know. I don't know. We've talked about that. Hmm. Okay. Right. So I guess I need a little bit more of a gap, maybe. Try the meat barrel. Okay. Just for a hot second, it works. Yeah, all heavy messes with martial arts. Okay. Samurai leg plates, darkened holy plate, metal helm, chainmail, plus metal boots. Yeah, all heavy armor messes with martial arts. Okay. Okay. You can still slide through that for some reason. Really? That is frustrating. Let me see. Jitty for... Wait. Jitty? For their weapon since i think it has the biggest melee defense bonus and also puts them on defense too okay okay gotcha all right so i need you to just stand out of the way for a second here again gwen gen jen okay so to keep in mind how i built this Go around that way, then this way, then this way. Go this way, and then they go and back around that way. So this is the problem. Is okay. Maybe something like this will work. All the way down there. Okay, what about that? Oh, come on. Seriously. This is going to be the this is going to be the problem right here, huh? Out of all the things that we've managed to pull off in this nonsense, 
This is going to be the only thing I can't get to work. In a maze full of other stupid things. This is somehow going to be the thing that doesn't work. Oh my god. Okay. Is that working now? That might be actually working now. Okay. I think it's working. Okay, he can't go that way. Okay, that seems to be working. We're good. He's moving along. He's coming in here. He gets directed around that way. And he gets directed around this way. Uh, yeah, that that's about right. Around. And then around. There's the littlest gap right there. Down this way. Disruptive. Going around down that way. And then we go down that way. And back. Back again. Again. And this way. Going down here. All the way down there. I have to run all the way back. And if I'm lucky, they'll be getting pelted by stuff the whole time. If I'm lucky. If I'm lucky, they'll be pelted the whole time. Alright, there we go. Okay, I think it's ready. I think that's as good as it's gonna get. Now we just have to put, uh... We just put them... Wait, what? Uh... Um... Did... What? Wait, what? A couple of my guns are gone. The harpoons that I built on this other side are gone. It seemed like mainly the closest half was the only spot in range until we get better spoons anyway. Yeah. Um. Yeah, the two harpoons I built on this other side are... Are not there anymore. That's odd. Huh. Probably when you reloaded the, that save last time. Maybe it was. We have seen that break things a little bit, so. Uh, okay. So we have steel bars, we have copper, and we have iron plates. So none of that should be too big of an issue. It might not get built right away, but it will get built. Oh, I bet he's set to a turret that doesn't exist anymore. That's why he's just standing there. I bet that's the problem. And then you should have... You also have the crossbow. Okay. And get Zill one more crossbow. See, the great... Well, I don't know if great's the right way to describe it. But the interesting thing about the way we have this built up... Is, like... For them to get to, like, here... They have to go all the way around. So if I put Gin and Zill like right here, and they're just pelting them with crossbows as they come running in, and then I have them just like pelt them, and then I can have them run over here and pelt them, and then pelt them from here to there, right? There's there's some options. We'll have to see. We'll let Soman cook and get everything built up for us. Okay. Everyone else should be hard at work over here making building materials. Flashbox, what are you working on? Just some iron plates? Yeah, we have plenty of iron plates for them to use. We have plenty of copper over here still saved up. Yeah, copper's full. 
Shrike is just processing fabric like crazy. Oh. Oh, okay. Our inventory is now, it looks like, full. Yeah. Okay. So that means Dead State also dug. Oh, you're full of pants. Dead State also dug. Come over here. Dead State also dug is also full of pants. Can finally have Jesus look around for cannibal camps to destroy. Yeah, we have plenty of uh, armor and stuff built up. Okay, Jesus, do me a favor and turn your job stuff off for right now. Uh, no, Jesus, I need you to like not do that. Go outside. Jesus, go outside and just like don't do that. Now, Dead State Doug, I need you to, like, pick some stuff up. Uh, we'll just get, like, high-grade pants. Okay, good. So we're, like, pretty loaded up. It's about as good as we're going to be able to get. I mean, we can't be upset. We're, you know, we made pants. We're gonna go make a bunch of money off the pants. So, lacking adventure recently for the Kenshi. Yeah, we haven't gone on much of an adventure since we got back from Mongrel. Which, to be fair, to be fair, we did bring a lot of people back from Mongrel, and that was a huge undertaking. Um, and we have run over and done some selling, and then we picked up Gwyn and again and Zill. So, I mean, we've done a little bit of adventuring, but the last couple of streams have been nothing but, like, working on the on the front gate here, so. I mean, I guess we could go over to Hidden... What is it? Um, hidden... Flotsam Ninja, right? We can go over to Flotsam Ninja and, uh... Uh, Dead State Doug, you gonna go to town like I asked? Okay, Dead State Doug is having a moment, everybody. I don't know why, but they are having a moment. Okay. Oh, Dead State Doug might be too big to fit outside of town. No, no, no. Look around for cannibal settlements. Although, save first. Yeah, but we're full of stuff. Okay, hey, Zeus, go pick up Dead State Doug. Because you're an absolute unit. Let's take him outside of the gate. Yeah, this might act... This, this stuff might be too narrow for Dead State Doug to be able to leave town. Which is also sort of impressive. That means that, uh, I guess if someone showed up with a bunch of pack animals, they wouldn't be able to get inside? I don't know what that means exactly, though. Well, let's double speed it. No reason to sit here and wait. Woo! While carrying, like, a probably two-ton full-size pack animal... Asus is just running through all this. Is your strength going up by this? Your strength isn't going up while we run around? Also, Asus has a 40 strength, which is, you know, insanity. Forty strength on Asus. Carbs are crabs are native to the opposite side of the continent though. Only crab raiders do, and they're the opposite side. Wow. Yeah, she's got a 40 strength right now. She's barely in lightweight while she's fully full of clothes and carrying, like, 500-pound dead state Doug. He's got to be an... He's got to weigh a bajillion pounds. He's fully loaded down with pants, and he's a full-size packed animal. He's got to weigh two ton. 
Look at her go. Absolutely not even a problem. She's faster. Oh my god, she's probably faster on her feet with carrying dead state, Doug, than she is to. Don't go through the water. We don't swim here. What are you doing? What an absolute champion. Look at her go. Absolutely a champion team. An absolute unit. Hero to everyone, really. Uh, where's Digna at? Digna? Do me a favor, Digna. Actually, what's your science? Okay, yeah, your science is 36, okay. Can you please work on this? I'm gonna try to get that finished. Jesus is such a, just a unit now. Look at her, she's just ragdolling dead state also, Doug, like nothing's going on. Look at her go. Absolutely unstoppable. Look, she's being chased right now, and she's... F While carrying a full-size pack animal, she's outrunning these hungry bandits. Handily. Dang, look at that. Look at her pull away. Look at that. They lost her, because she's just so much faster than them. Wow. Well, now we know what else to do with Dead State Doug when he's just standing around. We can have people carrying him. Hey, fisherman, you ever seen non anything like this nonsense happen before? But you haven't. Alright. Let's trade. Let's trade, you, you weirdo. We got a bunch of pants for you. Ain't nobody expecting this many pants. Uh, bandana, straw hat, iron hats. Kar Karuta Zukan. I don't know what that is. Armored hood, visored helmet. I mean, we know where to go if we want to get, like, the good stuff, right? If we want that good, good stuff, we know where to go. Look at her just ragdolling. Also, uh, Dead State also, Doug. Wait, where is... Oh. Still annoys me that we have to run behind the bar to. Um. Jeez, we're still not. Oh my god. These pants are worth so much money because they're so high quality. <laughs> almost to 100,000 again. We're almost there, team. Uh. Hey, Seuss, I guess run over here to Flotsam Village? Since you're faster than every everything but the the beak creatures. I don't even know what just happened there. Oh good, the stone refinery was completed. That's good. Uh Okay, you're still researching things? Yes. What all did I have? So we're going to find a upgrade to medicine and splints. Okay, that's fine. Finest pants on the, on the land? Yeah, think about it, though. The most legendary pants that you can like get can only be found deep in the kingdom of, of, of smack dab out in cannibal country. Like, if you want the best armor that man can make now, you have to go deep, deep into cannibal country and find this, the town that's out there to purchase... <laughs> To purchase pants. That's... <laughs> like, if you want to own the best pants in all of the land, you have to go out to smack dab in the middle of cannibal country. It's your only option. <laughs> like, there's Armor King, but most people don't know about him because he's, like, down in a valley in the water, so people don't know he's there. But these pants are coming into circulation from smack dab. So people know about the legendarily good pants of smack dab. Smack dab brand pants. They're the finest. Alright. Look over there, they saw us. What? Huh? Wait, who are you? 
Oh, they're skeletons. Yeah, I don't, I don't care about that. If I wanted you dead, you'd already be dead. If you're by World's End, you can check for more blueprints. Oh yeah, we'll definitely go and check for more blueprints. I just want to sell these pants real quick. Well, I guess Flotsam Ninja really is that far away. Okay. I just don't understand how we're not building... Wait, the skeletons can bleed? That's odd to me. I cannot believe we're not getting any, like, strength XP from this. That's so odd to me. I guess technically we'd be getting Athletics XP then? Excuse me. I'd, I would like to trade with you. Will you please acquire these pants from me? I don't feel like taking them home with me. Spring Bat. Spring Sabers. Heavy Bolts. I can plate ja jacket. I can probably get better stuff. Oh, a spring bat is a type of crossbow. A spring bat is a modern convention designed by rebels in the f formative years of the United Cities. It's easy to build and designed to have the power to punch through heavy armor of dominating military forces. It pays for it with a short range and poor accuracy. Oh, interesting. They bleed oil. Ah, okay, that makes that makes some amount of sense to me. All right. Was there... I'm trying to remember if there was anything else in this town that isn't bars or refuges, but no. All right, that's fine. We'll go over here to World's End. You ate some of your food cube? I'm not that surprised. You should be incredibly hungry considering you're, you're carrying a full-size pack animal right now. How's the ore refinery going? It's going okay. Oh, that's right. Did we... I forgot. We didn't actually finish these. Soma, can you come and finish this? I don't have any building material! She just shouts as she comes sprinting in from the fields. It's okay. We have plenty of building material. Just go find some and make it happen, all right? We have a very fast crew. Did you go do the thing I asked you to do? I don't have any building material. What? All you need is electrical components. They're over here. I guess you can't retrieve them since they're in general storage and not, like, specific storage. Get over here. There, you need eight of these. Please go and work on this. <sighs> Shouldn't be hard. Shouldn't be hard. Someone's going to have the most calloused hands in the world after all this is done. Yeah. Yeah, they are. Okay, what is this? Armor? Is this armor? Oh, this is the headgear shop. I don't need that, per se. Per se. Let's go to mechanical shop. Hello. Take a look around. You couldn't stop me, even if you wanted to. Random furniture, basic furniture, and advanced outpost blueprints. I don't need any of that. Okay, so you don't have anything there I want. Let's go check out the adventure travels and repairs store. A general all-purpose store. What do we got? Ooh, you got one more ninja backpack. 
I don't think I need any more, though. I think we're pretty full up on those. Ooh, we got some maps we don't have, though. Map, map, map. Okay, that's three maps that we didn't have before. And a mercenary tent blueprint, which I'm not worried about. Okay. Gotta go to the ranger shop. We need one more good crossbow to give to Zill. So we have crossbows going. Hi. Show me your goods. Uh, this reload, reload time is... Eagle Cross. A rare, extremely long-range weapon for snipers. It's possible to do a lot of damage with one of these before an enemy even realizes what's happening to them. It takes skill to use effectively and not much use at short range. That's not what we're looking for. Spring bats, old world. There's an old world mark two that's a high level one. That's not too bad. Spring bat, spring bat. Yeah, that's the only high level one in here. Old World Bow Mark II. We could buy the blueprint and start making our own if we want to have someone start working on uh, weapon manufacturing. Bolts long, or toothpicks. They also have toothpicks in here. Swamps, it's not very powerful, but it can be used as a spray at an opponent with bolts at close range before switching to a sword. That's, that's true. I guess we'll just pick up this Mark II for now. You could, but it's not too hard to find masterwork bows. Oh, I guess that's fair. Or do we go specialist? Specialist eagle cross with a sniper crossbow. I mean, in theory, if we hit someone in the chest with it, it could potentially kill them in one hit. Since it does a hundred and... It just takes forever to reload. Reload time is 420 to 8... 4 seconds to 8 seconds. Whereas the old world bow is three seconds to seven seconds. Toothpick's one second to three seconds, but the range I'm assuming is probably not great. Yeah, range isn't particularly good. Um, I guess we'll just yeah, we'll just take, I guess, another one of these and some bolts for it. What does this use? Ammunition type regular bolts. That should be plenty. Okay. Now we go in the armor shop. Let's see if you've got any cool blueprints we need to trade. Armored faceplate, mercenary faceplate, armored rags, drifter's boots, armored rag shirt colored, white plate jacket, sleeveless long coat, drifter's leather jacket. No, we don't need drifter's leather jacket. We need a duster's jacket, right? Armored hood, drifter's leather pants, mercenary leather armor. Yeah, there's, there's nothing in here again. Shoddy grade samurai leg plates, huh? Mercenary leather. Yeah, there's not much in the store right now, unfortunately. Because I think what we need is the sleeve. Where is it? Hold on. The long. I think we need the long coat, right? We don't want the sleeveless one. We want the regular one. I think the sleeveless one has pretty reduced armor, and then I think the dust coat is actually looks the same, but it actually has worse armor. And the long coat is the one that we actually want, right? Okay, dust coat, assassins, and ninja rags. Okay. Ninja rags, drifters, armored. Sleeveless. Leather shirts? Okay. Drifter's leather jacket. Um, yeah, so we want a dust coat, assassins, and ninja rags. Drifter's leather pants. Yeah, I don't, there's nothing in here. Sadly. 
station. This music seems like there's something going on, but there really isn't, everybody. Leather shirts, okay. I should write this down. I should write this down. Hold on. That way I can then kind of know what we're looking for here. And helmet, I don't know which one was the best locally available leather, or locally available helmet, but look for 100% protection on head and no, no negatives to martial arts. Okay. So dust coats. Dust coat. Coat. The ass ass armor. Ass ass. And ninja ring. A ninja. Ninja rags. Ninja. Rags. And. Uh, and then. 100 perception, 100 percent pro tech, tech, and no minus martial arts helmets. Okay, leather shirt. I look up which is best. Oh, and leather shirts. Leather shirt. I, can we wear armor and shirts? I don't think we can, right? Uh, yeah. Oh, no, we can't. So there is the leather shirt and the armor. Okay. Because we got a leather vest, but we've just been wearing that for forever now. Okay. Let's talk to them. Hi. You have hats, yes? All right. So... Perception bonus. Perception. Crossbow. And attack defense. Okay, so I mean, technically, like, a masked helmet has a 100% head and only a negative 5 to perception, which would only be, I think, for shooting. Yes, you can. Yeah, yeah. Because I think the perception only affects our ability to shoot and not hit other people, right? Blunt resistance, and it has 100% head protection. Yeah, only for ranged. Okay, so yeah, technically these masked helmets have 100% head protection and only have a negative perception bonus, which won't affect us because we're not using crossbows. Let's see, what do we got? Straw hats, Kurazudin? I don't know what a Kurazudin is. What's a Kurazudin? Alternatively, okay. Armored faceplate, iron hat. You go on another long journey to get the guaranteed best helmet for melee and martial arts? Oh, really? Okay. Visored helmets. Rattan hat, bandana, Talmust, red bandana, armored hood. Okay. Single angle. Sagadasa. Sagadasa is the last one. Okay, they don't have it. Now, is it a hat I could make, or is it specifically like a one one of a kind legendary hat? Because I mean, obviously, that's going to be less useful for us. All right, so we got a new lost library, one location on the map, which is, where are we? Over here next to Admag, out in the hives. Okay, out in the hive village. An engineering Mac with a post-ancient, post-ancient workshop. Okay, that add one. Oh, this one's out on an island, that's fun. It's out on an island. You have to become friends with the crab raiders, but the, they're hostile outside of their town. Oh, okay. That's cool. I didn't realize I actually could go into these islands and stuff. I figured the islands would probably be off limits. That's cool. 
And then another ancient lab. Oh, this is an ancient lab out in the middle of the uh, floodlands. That's actually really close by. We could potentially try to pull that one off. You just swim to them because no boat. Well, yeah, yeah. I just didn't think we'd actually be able to go to these islands. A lot of stuff would just, you know, block them off or not make them really have a reason, but... Yeah, this, this ancient lab is actually out in the floodlands. That's someplace we could potentially go. Interesting. If only they had invented some sort of apparatus for moving along the top of the water. Something you could stand on. Like a mobile bridge of some sort. Some sort. I think we went to this village and this village was basically like overrun, right? This one was empty. That's the fishing village that we usually hang out in. We haven't been to this village yet. They did. It's just a lost technology. Yeah, but that doesn't help us any. That's the problem. Alright, I guess we'll just head back to Smack Dab and drop off, uh... Drop off also... Also, Doug. Not re nothing else for us to do right now. Go back and drop off also, Doug. I guess I could have you two, like, work out or something. Because your stats aren't great, right? Yeah, they're basically all ones. Well, Gin has a little bit of experience with katanas and stuff, but... Alright. I'm going to have you two turn your jobs off for now. And I just want you to sprint to the far corner. And then you can sprint just outside the gate. And then sprint all the way back out here. And then we can sprint all the way outside of here. See, what this will do is they'll just be running back and forth forever. And then they'll just build up athletics like crazy, so that way they can outrun stuff. So we don't have what happened like in the in the alternate evil alternate parallel universe. Alright, there we go. Great. Now you two will just run back and forth. And they'll run through all of this, which counts technically. Oh, you know what else I could probably have you two do? You have no stealth training, right? Yeah. Okay. You can also sneak while you do it. Yes, athletics is going up, and stealth is going up as we do this. Perfect. And they could just do that back and forth until eventually the next cannibal raid shows up and we can try to stop them. Will it work? No idea. But maybe. Okay, good. We have 125 power now. This is very good. Unfortunately, these other fans are only putting out like half fans. The other windmills are only putting out like half work, but that's fine. Also, at this point, you have enough money to give someone all cybernetics. Yeah, I'm gonna be upfront with you. I don't know how comfortable I am with the concept. Like, I get it doesn't technically mean anything. They're just, you know, they're they're AI in a in a fake world. Man, it still seems brutal to have the limbs removed. That still seems so brutal. I mean, I guess if I could go to a place and have them paid to, like, remove the limb and then replace it, and it's like a surgery where our character is unconscious, it wouldn't bother me so much. I know that's not the case. Hey, stone refinery upgrade two is done. Great. So now we can actually upgrade this stuff. Okay, what do I need to upgrade this? I need, oh, I only need one more building material? Oh, okay. Oh, that's good. 
But Cyberbeep, you'll probably have to download a mod for that. Oh, okay. Uh, Soma, can you come over here, please? Luckily, this will help us get building material quick more quickly. Soma, where are you? Oh, I forgot you're deep in the maze. And see, and also the good thing about this is I'm not cheesing it with the water, by the way. I did not cheese it with the water. Upgrade this. Upgrade twice? Oh. Wow, I didn't realize we could double upgrade it. And everyone's helping out. How nice of them. Get this done pretty quick. And then whatever... Whatever change this is going to give us, I have no idea what the upgraded version of this is going to actually do for us. I mean, right now it just looks like max, of, max efficiency is up about 20%, but I don't know if that's the only effect. Because otherwise the only way is to lose... Oh, oh, okay. Everyone's got some materials to help out. Because otherwise the only way is to lose in combat, burn it off with acid, which is super tedious... Get them eaten off by Fogman, easy, and also Potato Peeler, easy, but hard to get the blueprints. Oh, okay. I didn't even know you could get a blueprint for that. Oh, okay, so yeah, just upgraded the efficiency to 102 instead of 80 or whatever. Okay, what does this need? 15 iron plates. And five electrical components. Oh, okay. Okay, so 15 iron plates. Uh, can you get the electrical components from here? You can. Oh, that's fantastic. Uh, there we go. Upgrade. And upgrade. Go get work on that, please. And while they're mining all this stone at a much higher efficiency rating, we can uh, get this thing upgraded. Oh my god, it's going to take forever, though. Okay, everyone work on this. Jeez, the upgrade is so slow. But it goes to one worker, and efficiency is... Max efficiency is 100%. Okay. Well, that's good. That means we have we need less people working on this. Which I think is a good thing. Flashbox being the only person working on steel right now. Actually, Flashbox, can you come help with this too? The more the merrier on this one. We just want to get this thing done. Bland, come help with this. All hands on deck for this one. The sooner we can get this done, the better, because that's just one less. Everyone. Hobbs? I don't know why Hobbs is here, but that's okay too. Everyone help with this. Slow going. I don't know how much faster it is. Yeah, the extra people I don't think are helping too much. I mean, there's not much else I can do here. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Uh, Jesus. It looks like you just posted the, the limb removal thing. Thank you, Ica. Put a mod for that in the Discord? Okay, thank you. Luckily, my phone has the alerts for that. Uh-oh. 
that's bad. All right, it crashed. Okay, it's fine. Oh, this she's all the way back here. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, I guess head this direction. Oh, oh, okay. It was while we were reading the maps. Okay, that's actually not too far back then. The only thing that sucks, though, is that means... Well, there is an iron refinery upgrade she's working on. Alright, uh, Soma. Oh, okay, you're still working on these. Okay, great. Upgrade this. In fact, you can all just work on this right now. The more the merrier. Let's just triple speed it. Summon. What, what are you doing? Please get back over here and finish this. Okay. Summon. Stand right there. Um, Hobbs, go inside the building real quick. Summon. Seriously, too far away? Oh, no, no, we got it. We got it. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes this music, though. Sometimes this music, though. Three of those. Upgrade. No, upgrade it. Of you just work on this, please. Okay, some refinery two. That's fine. Oh, Jesus actually got attacked by something. Uh, whatever it is, she ran past it. It doesn't even look like it's chasing her anymore. So now you can just head back to town. Oh, so the little outpost indicator on the map is where the front gate is. That's good to know. Great this further. Is slow going. Is it all of you to work on this, please. That's better. That's better. Leather turtleneck is best shirt for armor. Dark leather shirt is a bit weaker, but better for stealth. Oh. on this really is we're over halfway all the electrical components have been added we just need to keep adding iron plates it looks like medicine's done and now we're getting splints oh we're almost done
Hey, there we go. Upgraded. Awesome. Yeah, so now it's one worker with a 100% efficiency. It is powered, but that's fine. We have the raw energy for that. We'll be popping out building material like crazy now. It's like it only loads, uses two building, a uh, two raw stone per um, per building material, which is great. Do I have an? I don't think we can upgrade this, right? I'd have to build, I think, one to get to be able to upgrade it, which kind of sucks, but. Wow. Oh, you're also working the clothing bench? I mean, that that's fine. It's just someone working on armor while we're, while, while uh, Jesus is gone. Oh, you're back? No. Where are you? Also, that is just a particularly flat rock. Got it. Jesus, why don't you want to do things? Jesus, for some reason, does not want to move along the map settings? I, I don't know why. All right, there she goes. Okay. Oh, yeah, I didn't get these two on their training regiment. But they are inside of the wall now, which is can oh no no we're fine okay. All right, I was concerned there for a second, but we're okay. I'm gonna get you two on your training regiment. <laughs> Just by the time they get done with this, one full rotation of this is gonna probably be enough, right? Jobs, sneak. All right, you two. Get on it. Oh, Jesus is back. That's good. Actually, Jesus, what you can do then is actually trade with... Uh, Zill, I believe. Yeah. Here, you can have this. Have those. Have a couple of these also. Uh... Alright, good. You both have bandages? Yes. And crossbows. And at least good pants. Okay. We were at driving? Alright, drive safe. Alright, Jesus, we are now sort of done. You can uh, put them down. They immediately go and ate a food cube because they're malnourished. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Beep. Okay, it looks like your bandits and the cannibal are not hungry. That's good. Digna, what are you doing here? Shouldn't she be working, I don't know, something? Okay, we don't need you on the stone processor anymore. Yeah, why aren't you cooking right now? Hobbs, you've got all of the farming to do. Let's uh, remove that from you. I don't need you to operate the wells anymore. I guess you don't have anything to do right now? That seems unlikely. 
But I guess if we don't have anything to do... If you don't have anything to do, so be it. Uh, iron refinery. I mean, do we just not have... We have plenty of food. I mean, Crubble John is also just standing around. Which is kind of odd. Shrike is super busy. Huh. Okay, well they're about to be busy. This thing's about to go. And they're gonna have to start harvesting that, I assume. And there's hemp here. We're moving suddenly. Right, Dignus is helping with that, because I guess there's no food to be made right now? Uh, okay, that's about full. This is about full. I mean, I guess we can upgrade this to a large. Okay, Crumble John. Oh. Green Finger, you full of water. Okay, Hobbs. Hobbs also with the pants. Uh, I upgrade this. Oh, that's it? We only need like five? I thought it was going to be more significant than that. What? Wait, what do you mean you don't have... Okay. Okay. Can we get it? Okay, so yeah, this is a large wheat farm now. Oh yeah, they got plenty to do right now. Crumble John, what's the problem? Oh, you're not set up for the rest of these, are you? That's the problem. Now you're set up, Crumble John. At least for now, until we decide to take the away team away, which is fine. Okay, Zeus, Shrike is working on that. We have so many pairs of pants. Kind of absurd how many pairs of pants we have. Like, we have money. I don't know if we really need more pants. That 
we do that? How about we do that? That way both of these are making bread at the same time. All right. Well, I guess this place is gonna take care of itself for a while, right? Presumably. And we have a second food barrel if that one gets full. We have this one over here that isn't full, so. And if everyone out here is working on stuff. <laughs> Just as these two come sneaking through. Love it. Absolutely love that. Dang. Okay, we have plenty of iron plates. Tons of steel bars right now. I guess I can wait until... Land. How are we looking right now? Laboring's up to a 64. Okay. Alright. Alright. I like this. Alright. Well, with the town kind of in its... its ready to go state. I'll just let them work and then we can have Jesus go on some scouting adventures. Oh, does she have food? Oh, she doesn't have any food. Hold on. Before you leave, grab a... Oh, that's right. You have one of these backpacks, don't you? Probably don't need 70, 75. Okay, hold on. I just realized I don't think I need her to have all the stuff she has on her. It's out of resources. What? It shouldn't be out of resources. You guys process so much wheat. Is this one done? Okay, that one's also done. That's fine. Uh, I'm gonna just leave these here for now. Take that with us. Food. Arrange that in a way that makes some amount of sense. Problem is, we're already so full of stuff, of pants. And you just like, wow, we just put more food in here, huh? Do food cubes. Okay, Dead State also dug us out of, of space. Or out of as empty space. And these aren't probably going to be as yeah. They're not going to be as high grade as when Jesus makes them, but that's okay. Yeah, armor smithing's only a sixteen. It has something to do with the hemp. Yeah, we can only make use green fruit to make fuel right now. I think eventually there was an update or a, an upgrade we can get. Or drill. I think someone mentioned, probably Ica, mentioned that there is a, a, a way to turn hemp into oil at some point. Automatic flour grinding. I thought that's already a thing, though. Guess not. Good small generators. Turrets. So we get the light. Night attacks. Mounted crossbow two. Double barrel harpoon turrets. Spotlights. Mounted crossbows. Okay, so there's not really reason for that. Sleeping bags. I'm not really worried about sleeping bags. Ooh, all the manic looms. Fabric manufacturing. Oh, okay. And then the hemp. 
We need one ancient science book for the automatic looms. That's interesting. All right. Yeah, I guess we'll just leave this to its own devices for now. And uh, we can have Jesus just uh, go on a little bit of an adventure. Clean up their inventory. They got plenty of food now. How are you two looking? Stealth's going up. Athletics are going up. It's exactly what I need from you two right now. And then I guess we can go try to explore... Oh. Is there a raid coming? I guess there's a raid coming. I didn't see a little prompt for it. Okay. Well, in that case... Well... Yeah, they're moving pretty quick. Solomon, can you, by chance, finish this up? Odd to me that that's like that. Oh. Apparently they're not coming for a raid. Maybe they're just close enough by that we can see them? Maybe that's what's going on. Oh, yeah. What are they? What's going on? Oh, they fought a bunch of bone dogs. Scrawny cannibals. Oh, yeah. Now the bone dogs woke up. I mean, we can get first aid kits off of them. Which, it is odd to me that they have first aid kits in the first place. Apparently only some of them do? Something sees me. I need the leather. I mean, we could make more hats, I guess, out of it. Well, this bone dog woke up, I guess. situation that all was. What is... Oh, I'm just so confused about what is actually going on here. Okay, so this guy is, like, bleeding to death. Yeah, just go put him out of his misery. Also, the goats are attacking him unprovoked. Brutal. Oh, another one. Wow, the ghosts are just handling them. What a bizarre interaction that all was. Okay. Let's head up here and see what happens. Shall we, Jesus? It's kind of new territory for us. We've never really gone this far north to explore. There's a light in the distance. Phone dog. Okay. Let's go see what this is. Let's go find out, shall we? Hmm. 
Ooh, some more iron resources. Not that we really need more. Oh, that's three of them. All 150 quality? Dang. Wow, maybe I chose the wrong mountain to build our town on top of. Camp bed. Oh, okay. Yeah, here's some more scrawny cannibals. So is this just scrawny ta cannibal town? Yeah, it looks like it. So this is a cannibal camp. Yeah, Cannibals 55 Town. Okay. So I assume that's probably what this other place is, too? Something saw me? I don't know. Oh, it was probably just someone in this. Okay. Wow, there's so many high-level iron resources out here. Oh. Oh, okay, this is the village. This is, in fact, a cannibal village. Oh, there's... They have boxes? Oh, what is this guy? Oh, it's a butchery tape. Are you an insane? Um, we decided to go on a walkabout here a bit, and, um, go find out what's going on with this village. Turns out it's a cannibal village, like I thought. Uh, what do we got? String of cats. A bunch of coins looped onto a string to keep them together, keep them all together. Oh, okay. I guess we can take that. I don't really need the rest of this stuff. Samurai armor. Okay. Chain shirt. Wow, they have two sets of ninja rags in here? What? I mean, they're both shoddy grade, but they're still in there. A couple of dollar redos. Bandana. What is this? It's a barrel. Apparently I can't do anything with this barrel. Uh, also, is this like a power supply? Why? Okay. Weird. Really, 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 really weird. But hey, at least we got two more sets of ninja rags, even if they are in shoddy grade. Stolen from the cannibal chief? There's a chief here somewhere? Wait, what? What's he look like? I'll take him out. I'll, I'll assassinate him so hard. He doesn't even know what he'll, he'll... He won't even know. Oh, they have cages here, too. Oh, I wonder if, if I assassinate one of these guys. Hold on. If I assassinate one of these guys, then I pick him up. I can just lock them in their own cages. I can just put them in their own cages. That's amazing. Wow, wait, what's the pick lock? Dang, I can't even pick the lock on this. I don't have a 100% guarantee. These must be some serious locks. Our lock picking is an 84. Yeah, I guess the cannibal chief isn't here right now. Just 
night capturing them. Oh, well, they actually saw me that time. No, just get away, get away. Let's put them... There's, there's a lot of them, Jesus. And you're good, but you're not that good yet. Okay, we already lost them. Did they let their people out? No, they didn't. Okay, interesting. Jesus took apparently no damage there? Oh, we're not highlighting her. Okay. It's fine. Oh my god, we're just... We're just a monster in the nighttime. Having our way with these people. We're giving them the, the Strigoli, and we're just in the middle of the night coming and picking them up and doing what we want. Not a problem. Oh, a squad's just come back. No, oh, but these are scrawny cannibals. I don't see anybody who looks different in here or anything. Huh. Interesting. Oh, they're coming this way. Okay, apparently they do not care about any of the stuff I just did. There's another pack. I assume the commander would have, like, a different weapon or something, right? I assume. And the problem is they're sitting so close together. If I can get this one. Now I can come from the other direction. Oh, not quite. Okay, okay. Problem is we're out of cages now. I mean, if I take their weapons from them, we could probably take them in an honest to god fist fight, right? Got one cage left. Wow, they didn't even get alerted that I was potentially there. Wow. Oh, he's running off. Oh, there's a whole squad. Go oh, get out of there, get out of there. I don't know where this squad came from. Oh, this is the un unconscious one? One random injured one? Okay, so I filled up all their cages, and I don't see any of the... Oh, the cooking pit is a corp disposal? But I assume I can't put... Yeah, I can't put living people in it. That's unfortunate. That'd really solve our problem quite nicely, actually. Put 
them down. Go get this one. Pick them up. Bring them over here. Uh, I don't want their gross weapons. These, these like, gross, gross hacker class flesh cleaver nonsense. I don't want that nonsense. No one wants that. Okay, good. We dropped them. So I put this down here. We are slightly overweight. Point one. Now we should be able to take them in a fist fight here. Nice work. Look at the palm thrusting. No flying kicks, oddly enough. Might be because we're overweight, though. It might be giving us negatives to martial arts. No? No? Oh, you know what? We're not inside of a town. We're not inside of a town, so we're not getting the bonus. I forgot about that. There's that other bonus we get. Oh, we crippled them. We literally broke off their arm. This one is... It just says crippled. I guess they're also playing dead? Huh. Oh, there's a fight going on over there. Oh yeah, they're playing dead. Oh, they woke up and they sucker punched us. All right, jerk. So I'll just beat you up. Oh, okay. You were... Oh, we knocked their leg off. Kick. All right. Unconscious for two thousand minutes or two thousand seconds. Okay, you're probably going to be unconscious for a long time also. Uh, let's see. I'll we'll come loot them. I don't really have room for it. I don't have room for these. Uh, let's see. I have an idea. Here, you can have these since you're unconscious and you're probably not ever gonna wake up. Oh, hello. Oh, there's the flying kick. Maybe it's an opening move only sort of thing. Dang, I think I knocked their other leg off? No, no, their other, wow, their right leg is barely hanging on. me practice lock picking also I just fist fight them as soon as they get out okay that's that's actually amazing Prisoner. Okay, pick the lock on this. Literally just letting them out to fist fight them in a row. This is. Oh, we. Okay, they were only unconscious for a second. Alright, alright. Pick them up and put them in the cage. 
Okay, loot you. Oh, oops. Loot. You can have theirs. Pick the lock. Just, just great work. Amazing. Cage. This has got to be the weirdest looking thing to the rest of them, right? Because we're just like taking the weapon from them. Give me your weapon. I just hand it to the guy to the left. We lockpick them out of the cage that we put them in, then fist fight them and then put them back in there. Like, none of it makes any amount of sense. But I mean, it's working for the most part. I mean, technically it's also probably lockpicking practice. Wow, this guy is dodgy. Oh, a materials trader is on the way to smack dab. I mean, that's something, I guess. The lock on this. Actually failed that one, okay. A little slower in attempt two. Lone random scrawny cannibal has appeared. Tried to block a punch with a... Okay, that's a choice. No, you don't get to leave now. You have to be done. Like that. Idiot. Finish picking this lock for me, please. We failed twice? Oh my god. This is, this is, this is unheard of. There we go. Now fist fight them. Oh, they got a kick off. Wait, that means they have hand-to-hand -hand combat skills as they're throwing kicks. This guy's actually got some martial arts training. What? Dang. All right. Good for you, bud. Good for you. Oh, that's the cannibal chief. That's why. Oh, okay. All right, first aid them. This is the cannibal chief. Okay. Oh, they got back up for a second, and then immediately we're not up again. Uh, just pick them up, please. Thank you. Okay, fantastic. Yeah, that explains it. We found the cannibal chief. Kidnap them? Oh, we'll definitely kidnap them. At this point, well, we'll just... Did you... What? Why did you just run off? I'm fist fighting people. What are you doing? Oh, I hit them both inside of the cage. Does that count as extra points? I bet that counts as extra points, right? Need this. And pick the lock. Um, so we have a fist fight here. Oh, that's flying kicks, though. Oh, we're in... Weird. We're stuck in, like, attack mode. How odd. I have multiple of these, in fact. And we let you out, and we just fist fight. Wow, you went down so fast. You put up no challenge there. 
you could have put up any amount of challenge for us. I mean, I know we're, like, better, but... Down they go. Pick them up. Put them in the cage. Alright, well, there we go. Oh, you're back up. Dang, slightly injured. You're tough. You are tough. You almost lost a leg, it looks like. Good work on them, though. Everyone else is in recovery comas. Good for them. So what happens, what do we do with the cannibal chief? Do we just kidnap him, or can we do, like, something else with him? What's the deal with the cannibal chiefs? If I kill him, does it, like, cause the camp to get disbanded? No, they actually call it Cannibal Village. Just take them and put them in your cage? Well, I already got people in my cages. Uh, Cannibal Chief. Uh, you strength? What does that mean? Oh, I'm not strong enough to do that. Oh, so I guess I could open the cage with strength? Eventually just beat them up until they die. Oh, okay. I mean, that's what we're doing with the other two. Oh, you're back on your feet. Okay, now you're down again. Uh, first aid them. Okay, pick them up. All right, I guess we're kidnapping you too. Welcome, you get to live in Smack Dab and be our, our assault, our, our training dummy. All the lurkers, of course, though. Thank you for hanging out. We always appreciate the lurkers. You have the Twitch world go round. Um, uh, anybody who checks the VODs here on Twitch or checks the VODs on the YouTube repository is also greatly appreciated. Seeing those numbers helps keep me motivated. Um, if you need a well-thought-out solution, you need a thinking solution. Raven Hilbert Inc., thinking solutions. And uh, I guess that'll be it, everyone. I hope you have a good rest of whatever you're up to. And, uh, yeah, yeah, I think that'll be it. Bye.